Hey, this is Peggy with Easy Peasy Machine Embroidery, and I am in my Sonet Platinum today. And I am going to show you how I did my shamrock quilt block with the center removed. This is what it looked like on the screen. Um, I didn't notice that it still had some lines going across it, but I'll show you how to easily remove those. I am hoping you all know how to. Uh, place the nodes and whatnot to make the shamrock. This is the base that I started with and After I placed my nodes I got this So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and open up the create module So there is the create and I'm gonna open up digitizing And real quick, so I'm going to load my background picture. And it is going to go out to the shamrock. And I am going to crop that down. And I'm not going to um, do any kind of qu quick create because I found that it didn't make a, um, a nice smooth seam. So what I'm going to do is go into point create and I'm going to turn off pattern fill. And for now, I'm going to just use a running stitch and create liner area. I'm going to hold down my shift key. When I hold down my shift key, I get the square. That means it is an angle. And now I'm going to let back up. When I need an angle, the shift key goes down. And you can straighten out those nodes if you have to. I'm just going to do this real quick. Shift key. Shift key. Shift key. Shift key, and then lastly, I'm just going to take that last node and left click and drag it down over the first one. Right click, and there you have your running stitch. Now you can right click once, twice, and you can add your fill. And I just did any old fill for now. And I made sure that it was a color that I was not going to use. And sometimes I actually will just choose another manufacturer. So I know that it's a different um, color than what I'm going to be using in the design. Okay. So. Next I'm going to do an export. And just for kicks and giggles, let's do... Da, da 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 da. Oops, wrong folder. No wonder I couldn't find it. Video shamrock. So I'm going to call it shamrock filled. Okay. So I'm just going to overwrite that one and say yes. And if you decide that you want to even things out, you still can. If you find that you want to add another node, you go to the Home tab and say Insert Point, and that'll allow you to insert a point. You just need to remember that after you've inserted that point, you need to go back to Edit Points so that you can move them around the way you want them. Okay, so you get the idea with that. The other thing I always do is um, 
We've exported it. We're going to do a save as. Make sure I save as an EDO. Um, it should just stay there when I close out because this is my Sonnet Platinum. This is the my Sonnet system and it's very seamless that way. But just because I tend to bebop in and out and multiple designs and things, sometimes it doesn't save what I've just created. So I always save an EDO file. Anyway, all right, so now we have this. And there's one more thing I want to do to that clover. So I'm going to do a right click over the film strip and say fixes stitches. That's going to change this little tulip from the digitizing. And if I go back, notice how this little um, uh, petal of the tulip is changed now. If I go into fixes stitches, that changes, that goes away. So now I can no longer go in and edit my design. But I can go into Stitch Editor. And I can say I would like a border. And I'm going to change that border down to about a 1. And I'm going to say Create External Border. I want a satin line. So it just put a satin line there. I'm going to change that color to something else. And again, I'm going to use, actually, I'm going to go into my own thread cache and just change it to a different color. And I have a a a excuse me i have a method to my madness is what i'm trying to say i can close out here so it's still in my um embroidery software and i'm going to do a file and i'm going to do an export and i'm going to go into my folder here so shamrock filled and border there it is and I'm just going to not overwrite it and delete. The other thing I did, and I'm not sure if the people that were asking about this wanted to see this, but let's do digitizing again. And I'm going to hit cancel here and quick create. And I'm going to just grab the square. I'm going to choose a motif fill. I am going to, I'm just going to do a running stitch around the outside of that. I'm going to go over to fill area in line and change my motifs. You can see that. Those of you who know me know that I changed the standard motif of the dog that they have. I don't know, someplace in their software. I changed it into a terrier. Anyway, so we're going to Universal. We are going into General Motifs. And I'm going to go and grab the circle. And I want it to be halfway decently big, so I'm going to just put 12. And I'm going to also choose Motif 2 and say Use Motif 2. And I'm going to say 15 on this one. And then I'm going to go back and click on the shape. I'm going to hold down the Shift. Actually, I'm going to hold down the control button and that will mm, 
resize it proportionately. Okay, and again, I'm going to change the color to something else. Okay, so right now it is, well, I'll leave it a little darker so you can see what I'm doing. So this is another file. We're going to say export it. And I'm going to call it base. And then I'm not sure what people wanted, but I am going to go down and do, let's see, I can do this and we can do a motif fill and the control button and I'm going to duplicate it so control C for copy control V for paste And the base was just created this way. I just went through and kept adding. More and more different shapes and whatnot. Here's another one. I'm going to put you out here and Now I'm going to center it. Okay, so I kept doing that with different shapes and whatnot. And then I changed them all to the same color. Um, I can actually do, when I had, you know, them all set up the way I wanted for the first row, I can do a global properties. And I can say I want motifs. I can say I want... Hold on. Three seconds. Back into global properties. I can say I want a spiral fill this time. And I want it to be less. Uh, I want to change that density. You can go up to a 40. And if you It must be I did not hit global that time. Okay. So, if I had global, it would have changed every single one of those. Anyway, so that's how that base was made. Then I went back into the regular embroidery program. And I... Wrong video. did the base first and then I inserted the shape file that I did and then I inserted the shamrock with the border and again I want to make sure that my colors are very different. So I'm going to change that to pink for now. And I think we have colors that are different now. And I'm going to go to the home. I'm going to do a combine all. they're all the same they're all different colors so I don't have to do a color sort and now I am going to go into modify and I am going to get rid of that first color and the second color and 
the fourth color and I'm just going to do a box select remember I'm in the modify tab and I'm gonna hit delete there now I go home and I am now going to go into a left click over on the film strip edit and stitch editor and I am going to zoom in and I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit there we go so I see the entire circle there and now I am going to do let's see I'm gonna kinda see where my outline edge is and I'm gonna get rid of the shamrock by on clicking that color and I'm gonna get rid of the blue by on clicking that color and now I'm gonna do a box select and I'm gonna hit delete and I'm gonna turn those colors back on again and I'm gonna do from corner to corner and I'm gonna hit delete and I'm gonna turn those back on again and see we shouldn't have done that so we're gonna do control Z control Z is your friend so I'm just gonna go back to that center okay so I'm gonna get rid of this and this and I'm gonna go a little bit bigger and I'm gonna turn them back on again and I'm gonna keep doing that We're almost there. I gotta go a little higher at the top. The other way to do that, and it's a pain in the butt, is to do the stitch selection. So you could go up here to view and with stitch points. And now you can see the stitch points. So we have we got to go home, select stitches. I believe. that one can be gotten rid of this looks like one that is out of place and this one looks like it is out of place and then I can go to insert trim command and I can turn that line 
into a dotted line and now it is a a jump stitch across there and you keep doing that to the to the lines that you don't want to deal with so just a few more for an example I'm just hitting the delete key And it gets rid of that. Here is another one. And you keep hitting the delete on those dots until they're gone. Okay. And I'm going to go to modify to trim command, added a trim command there, turned it into a dotted line. So instead of it stitching across there, it's now just a big old jump stitch. Okay, so that is how I did all that. So you can see where I've removed part of the circles over here. One last thing that I would do is still go back in. Uh, we're going to do save cha changes to the shamrock. So that's a VP4. And that's the one I didn't want. I am looking, where is it? VP4. Another way to tell how to do this is to look at the time. 12.44. Oh. I know what it, what it is anyway. Uh, 116, I did the purple outline, so here it is. And the last thing that I would do, and I'm going to change the name of it so I know what it is. I'm just going to put a bunch of S's there. All right, I'm going to close that out. We're going to blank canvas. So there's one more thing I need to do. Some of you may have noticed that. We're going to go back into Create, into Digitizing. Hit cancel here, insert embroidery, here's the file we just did, there are some blank spots here. So I'm just going to go into point create, I'm going to turn off my pattern fill, and create liner area, and just click and fill those out. Okay, and notice that I'm in the pink section, and I actually need to be either at the very end, or I need to be in the soldier blue section. So let's go to the soldier blue section and start that over again. So I'll create liner area. Here's one, two, three, four, and we're done. Okay, so that's how I made that shamrock. Um, and the big, 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 big thing, I'm going to do an export. 
just because we're going to say edit from embroidery. So the big, big, big thing you need to do always, always go into life view. Take a look at it. What's it look like? See all those lines there still that I haven't gotten rid of that I got rid of these. I still need to go into here and remove those same way I showed you by deleting those stitch lines and then hitting the trim command and that will change it over into a jump stitch okay i'm done well i thought i was done i just thought of another way to have to get rid of some of those lines it's a little more difficult in some ways and easier in others you can go into the digitizing open that edo file that you saved and you can go through the stitches and see where they are and remove them that way so there's a line going across and i just hit delete and you keep going down there's another one you can hit delete I'm looking for lines that go across. There's another one right there. There's another one. Sometimes you can do it this way. Sometimes you can't. Uh, that we can get rid of. This one we can get rid of. This one we can get rid of. And like so. And follow those right across. Uh, that does not look like something I want to remove. Remember, if you accidentally remove something, to do a control Z immediately or an undo. Okay, there was one. I still got two or three up here that I can still totally. remove them there's one and again we're just looking for ones that run horizontally across and as we click on them it shows us which line we're dealing with right there and i still got now uh, there's one there's one and i see one more And that's not it and I don't see where it is so I'm gonna scooch up a little bit there it is there it is there it is there it is that 
That's not something I want to hit delete on. Okay. So that's how an easier way depends on what you're actually doing. Here's another one that needs to be removed. And it is blue. So ungroup it. Go down into the blue. And then again, you're going to click on the lines until you get to the one that you want to get to. And then you hit delete and you're good to go. All right. Now I'm done. Thanks for listening. Remember to give me a like and subscribe and leave a comment. I do make videos on request. This was a request. So catch you later. Bye. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you later. Bye.